Okay, guys, let's look at the second round. I'm trying not to cover the names here. I want to go through my favorite and least favorite picks from the second round of the draft. I'm starting with some of my favorite picks. Keon Coleman being there and the Bills being patient and taking him. I absolutely love it. Perfect fit. Big X receiver fit that you need for Josh Allen to replace Diggs and Gabe Davis. He got him. I think he's one of the better receivers in this draft. Um, absolutely love that pick. I love Braden Fisk to the Rams. Braden Fisk to the Rams I put in our preview for best fits to each team. I had him going to the Rams to help replace Aaron Donald. They got him in verse. Love it. Cooper DeGene, one of the steals of the draft. The fact that he fell to 40, unbelievable. Yeah, probably because he's white. Is, everyone, is anyone ever going to admit that? No. But he's an absolute stud of a football player. The Eagles continue to do everything right. What a pick. Really like Kool-Aid. I don't know why Kool-Aid fell. No idea why Kool-Aid fell in this draft. I think he might end up being better than Terry and Arnold, who went to the Lions early in the first round. The fact that he fell all the way to 41, steal for the Saints. And then right after that, the Texans are doing everything right. Kamari Lassiter. I mean, no touchdowns given up. One of the best pure DBs in this draft. A little bit slower if you just clock him in a 40, but he makes up for it on the film speed. Um, absolutely love Kamari Lassiter. I think Mikey Saren still. Pound for pound, probably the best defensive prospect in this draft. You heard Nick Saban say it. He can do everything. Former receiver, he's got the hand skills. He can catch the ball. He's going to create turnovers. He's a playmaker for Michigan. He's going to do the same thing in the NFL. His game translates extremely well. One of the safer DB picks in this draft. Love that for Washington. And Max Melton to Arizona. Really like the DB prospect. Really, really think he's an outstanding guy. I don't know how he fell to 43. And then... The last guy I'll talk about on the good list here is Jackson Powers Johnson. Don't know how that dude fell to 44. Best center in the draft, uh, the Raiders getting him. I mean, he was the best player available. That's what the Raiders were doing. They took Bowers in the first round because he was the best available. Took Powers Johnson here in the second round because he was the best available. Cannot knock that. And the picks I don't like. I don't like Lab McConkey. I don't like moving up to get Lab McConkey. I'm not high on him as a pro prospect. Rook Orojo, I don't know how to say his name. Horrible pick. Horrible, horrible pick. Never heard of him before this. They move up for him. He was going to be available later. Don't know why they did this. Started playing football late in life. That That's never usually a good combination. And probably my least favorite pick of the second round is, of course, the Panthers. It just doesn't seem like the Panthers can do anything right. They draft Jonathan Brooks out of Texas running back at 46 overall. I just don't think that the running backs in this year's draft belong anywhere near 46 overall. Um, not only that, I just don't think he's the best running back in the draft. With all the things that you need in Carolina right now to help Bryce Young, to help this team somehow climb back into being relevant, you think taking at 46 overall a running back, it's it's not Bijan. So, I mean, I don't know. This is a terrible pick.